This video will explain how to use the function mutate in R to create new variables by replacing certain values of existing variables. Sometimes certain observations of existing variables may have incorrect values. You may create new variables with those incorrect values corrected. The mutate and replace functions help you to do that. In the mutate function, first specify the original data set. So here's mutate function, and first you specify the original data set. And this line of code also tells you that we, create, we are creating, with this line of code, a new data set, which is called orders replace. So we specify the original data set from which the values and from which the variables, such as quantity and day, are taken from to create a new data set with two new additional variables, data quantity new and date new. Then, after we specify the original data set, we put comma, and next we specify the new variable to, variables to be created. Here are two new variables that we will create. These are quantity new and day new. These will followed by, uh, for each variable, it is these new variables are followed by quality sign and then replace function. Inside the replace function, first list the variable whose value needs to be corrected. For the quantity new, it's quantity variable. We want to correct one of the values of the quantity variable. At this point, we have, uh, this is quantity variable, right? And these are the values that it takes, 46, 50, 100, 80, 60, and 30. And so then in this replace function, the original variable the va whose values needs to be corrected is followed by the conditions that identify, these are the conditions, that identify the specific observation of the variable listed and then corrected values. So what we expect this line of code to do is to create one more variable. So we will see one more column here, which will be called quantity new. Quantity new will take the following values, 46 for cups, 50 for plates, and 99 for burgers instead of 100, and then 80, 60, 30, as um, will be the values for bunks, forks, uh, ketchup, correspondingly, um, at the same values as the quantity variable has for those um, items. Now, what it means that for other observations that do not meet these conditions that are specified here, the values remain the same as the original variable. So basically, according to this code, just to summarize a variable quantity new is created with all values being the same as quantity variable, but for the March 4th order of burgers, March 4th order of burgers, the quantity new variable will take value 99 rather than 100 in quantity. The new variable day new is to be also created with all observations the same as variable day, which is um, first thing that we specify in the replace function. However, for the April order of ketchup, in the quantity of 30, its day new value should be 10 instead of 30. So basically what we expect uh, the second line to do is create here one more column which will be and uh, which will correspond to a variable, new variable called day new. And here these values 14, 2, 4, 16, 24 will be the same as uh, for the original variable day. Uh, and the last value will be 10 instead of 1. So let's run this code. And we need to load to the package before doing this. So we run this code. Now we can 
display this data set here. And you see what happened? Oh, we can open this data set here. So what happens is that um, we have new two new variables. One is quantity new and day new. And as we expected here, we have value 99 instead of 100 and here value 10 instead of 30, right? Now, keeping both the old and new variables helps you compare the changes in coding. But if you do not want to keep both the old variable and the new variable, you could overwrite the old variable without creating the new one. And to overwrite an old variable rather than creating a new one, just use the old variable name in the mutate function. So what I mean is, in this mutate function, so we will create new data, data set or as overwrite. And in this new, in this mutate function, instead of here specifying a new variable, we just um, put the name of the old variable quantity, right? And basically what we tell um, R to do is in this old variable quantity to replace 100, to um, 99. So let's see what we will have here. And basically now we have, and let's also display data page, the old data set, you see the changes. So here you see what we have here. So we created this new data set using the um with keeping without creating a new variable with the change replaced values and what we have in the quantity instead of 100 we have 99 right because we specified that this value has to be changed to 99 and instead of one uh, we have Oh, day we didn't, yes. Oh, here we have a typo because this should be here. And so now we have a quantity should be in quotation marks. So now it should work correct. Okay, and now let's display these data sets. So yes, so now you see what happened, right? Once we remove this typo with the quotation marks, now, there are two changes made to the original data set orders. So this 100 is changed to 99, and this one is changed to 10. And the way we did this is we specified these conditions, basically, for which observations we would like to replace the values of the variable day and of the variable quantity. 